family and friends in Jesus, uh, good morning. <laughs> uh, I want to start this morning by praising God. I'm just giving the Lord God Almighty all the glory and all the honor, all the praise and all the thanks because it belongs to Him. Uh, last week was a very, very busy week. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, we, we feel that <clears throat> as humans, we've got everything in order and we planned everything. And, and then the Lord goes and, and he touches a certain area and it changes and we are not ready for it. So in the revival services uh, last week, I know that for some of us, you know, sometimes it felt that we were walking on that stormy water that um, Peter walked on. But the Lord Jesus was always there and uh, he made it work out um, the way that he wanted it. And so I just want to start this morning and I want to bring all the glory to the Lord. Everything, everything that happened there those three days, everything that is going to happen still after um, in this next week, in this next month, in the rest of this year, all glory is going to go to the Lord God Almighty and to Jesus because we are not uh, with the revival services and, and with the, the work of the Lord. We are not promoting denominations. We are not promoting teachings. We are not promoting people. We are here to show this beautiful town of ours who Jesus, the Son of God, is. And so I'm excited with everything inside of me for what is still to come. Um, yes, standing here right now, uh, 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 mentally and physically, I am very tired, very. I, I can't hide that. Um, the Lord God Almighty knows. But family in Jesus, spiritually, I don't think in my 23 years of walking with the Lord, I have ever been this excited and this strong and, and this ready to to go, just to carry on going. And I can see in the lives of many brothers and sisters in Christ of mine how the Lord is working in a powerful way. Um, I, I want to thank everyone for uh, standing up yesterday. You know, using that courage that the Lord has blessed you with and standing up yesterday in our morning service and, and praying for our brother Steve. Um, I want to trust with everything inside of me, and I know you're doing the same, that the Lord is going to do a powerful work in his life. Um, we are praying the Lord's will into his life, not, not our will, because the Lord's will is far better than our will. Um, so I want to thank everyone that did that yesterday and that did that out of their hearts and out of their spirits. Because the Lord looks at the motive of our hearts, and if the motive was to lift up our brother to Christ, um, then something's going to happen there. Family in Jesus, something huge. And I want to thank everyone that um, has started to pick up that evangelical spirit and, and has started to, to add to their life the boldness and the courage of the Word of God and and, and the boldness that the disciples and the apostles had in the book of Acts. Um, after the Sanhedrin and, and the Pharisees and the Sadducees uh, caught them and, and said to them, stop preaching in the name of Jesus and then flogged them and then sent them out and said, stop doing this because if we catch you again, we're going to imprison you. And right after they walked out of, of uh, that meeting, they just went and they... they um, spread the gospel again. They started preaching and teaching again. Because how? How can you stop the Spirit of God inside of us from talking to people about Christ? You can't. There's nothing that can. There's nothing. And we don't mind if we are, are martyrs for, for Christ. We don't mind if we are flogged for the name of, of Jesus and if, if we are um, stepped on and, and hurt and injured and insulted we don't mind we really don't mind as long as we can advance the kingdom of God as long as we can move forward in the name of Jesus and claim ground and family in Jesus that is exactly what we did last week Thursday Friday and Saturday in that town hall we claimed ground as a body of Christ 
for Jesus and his kingdom. That's what we did. Because straight after that, um, the very next morning in Foursquare, uh, there was a, a Holy Spirit movement there with uh, uh, the, the, the two sisters praying for um, that uh, gentleman. And, and then that afternoon, right after the morning service, there was another um, Holy Spirit encounter uh, with a Samoan gentleman. So family in Jesus, um, the Lord is here. And, and because we have stood up now in faith, and in courage, and in the word of God, and in determination. Um, the Lord has, has seen that. <laughs> I am so excited, I want to cry. Um, the Lord is here, and is moving, and he, it's not going to stop. And, and remember, family in Jesus, uh, the Bible says that it is a wise man that takes advice, and that uh, Samoan uh, gentleman, that Samoan uh, um evangelist gave me advice to give to God's people. We mustn't now become complacent. We mustn't now sit and relax. This is now the time that we must stand up even more, move forward even more, preach even more, teach even more. We must now hand out Bibles everywhere because the Lord is busy moving here. Family in Jesus, Maybe not in the way that we anticipated or in the way that we as humans planned, but the Lord God Almighty is moving. And there simply is nothing and no one that will be able to stop him. Family in Jesus, we are going to claim Altham. We are going to claim Stratford and Hawara and Manaya and Kaponga and Opanaki and, and New Plymouth. We are going to claim the whole Taranaki. It is for Jesus and for Jesus alone. Um, everywhere and everything and everyone, every knee shall bow to Jesus and every tongue shall confess that he is King of Kings and he is Lord of Lords and that this whole area belongs to him. This is going to become one big church for Jesus Christ. So I am excited and I hope you are excited. And on this day of, uh, of holiday, this day of rest, where we are still celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He's alive, family. He's alive. <laughs> and there's no tomb that can hold him. There's no stone that can cover a tomb that can hold him. There's no government that can hold him. There, there's nothing on earth or in heaven or in hell that can hold Jesus Christ. He is alive, he is awake, and he is moving in the people that he has chosen, which is us as his church. He is moving in us. And so we are excited, family in Jesus. It is coming. It is coming. And, and or no, no, so I'm sorry. Let, let me rephrase that. It is here, right now. The Lord is busy moving. Um. The way he wants to move, he's busy working the way he wants to work. So family in Jesus, we must keep our eyes and our ears open for the Holy Spirit when he speaks to, to move in obedience. Immediate obedience. Uh, we've seen it here in our church with prayer. Whenever the Lord speaks to someone, to go to someone else, lay hands on them, pray for healing. The Lord has moved. Um, the Lord loves obedience. He says in his word that I desire obedience above any sacrifice. So the more we listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit, the more the Holy Spirit will speak to us. The Bible says if he can trust us with little, he will give us more. So the Lord will start speaking to us about little things. If he can trust us with obedience in little things, he will move to bigger things and greater things. And eventually the kingdom of God will be everywhere around us. And before this world can, can, can um, uh, open their eyes, so to say, we have claimed this whole area. So family in Jesus, continue in the name of Jesus. Stand up in the name of Jesus. He's alive. He's risen. And, and anything and everything inside of us that is still a little bit dead or asleep, 
We can call it to wake up right now. And I think that's maybe what we must do right now when we pray. So I want to invite everyone um, to come and pray with me. Oh, excuse me. Right now, let us pray and let us wake that up that is still asleep. Let us wake that up that is still dead in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord, the Holy Spirit who has been moving among us so powerfully in these last few days, Lord Jesus, and getting ready and stirring us up and and taking us to the next level and introducing to us our future with you, Lord Jesus, and our future is to build and establish your kingdom and to grow it, Lord Jesus, to grow it everywhere we go. Everywhere that our feet will step in this town, Lord Jesus, we claim it for you. We want, we, we want you to take it, Lord Jesus. We are your soldiers and we are your workers. We are your disciples and your apostles, your evangelists, your teachers, your preachers, your, your, your pastors. Lord, we are here and, and we are your workforce. We are your labor. And, and Lord Jesus, Use us, please, Lord Jesus, because we raise our hands and we say, yes, Lord, we are here to work for you, to, to do it for you, Lord Jesus. So blessed, blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. Um, in today, Lord Jesus, we cry, we cry out to you and we call out to you through um, the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of your son, Jesus. If there's anything still inside of us that is asleep or that is dead, or that must be revived or resurrected. I pray that today is the day, Lord Jesus. Today, Monday, that you will resurrect that, that thing that is still dead, Lord Jesus. Um, that thing that is still um, asleep. And, and when I say that thing, Lord Jesus, that gift that you have given us, that talent that you have given us, the calling that you have given us, the plan and the purpose that you have given us, Lord Jesus. I pray today in the name of Jesus to resurrect it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, make it alive, Lord. Cause it to stand up and to rise, Lord Jesus. Cause it to move that, that, that stone out of the way so that we can move forward, Lord Jesus. Just like um, that scripture says, Lord, that when you were crucified, there was an earthquake and the tombs opened. And when Jesus walked out of that tomb there were dead people that walked out with him lord previously dead holy people that walked out of their tombs into that city and started teaching and preaching about jesus <laughs> so lord i pray that, that that you will cause that to to happen in our lives resurrect those callings lord jesus resurrect those plans and those purposes the, the talents and the gifts of the Holy Spirit resurrected in our lives, Lord Jesus. Make it come to life so that we can go out into this whole area, Lord Jesus, and we can establish your kingdom and we can claim, claim, claim your ground, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. We worship you. You are our king. You have always been our king and you will always be our king. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray and I ask and I call this, Amen. Thank you, family in Jesus. <laughs> amen and amen. Hallelujah. May you have a blessed day today. May you have a day filled with the Holy Spirit and, and drenched in the Word of God. Um, may the truth of the Word of God manifest in you and through you today. May you be encouraged and edified and excited about the word of God. And may you be blessed exceedingly abundantly above all you may ask or think according to the book of Ephesians 3.20. So until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.